finally free after a decade. Wow, CBS 12's Thomas Forrester joining us live in the Breaking News Center with the latest details on, wow, the shocking case. I know these families have to be celebrating this morning, Thomas. They certainly are. We're learning this morning, Eric, the three suspects, all brothers, will be charged within the next 36 hours. They are Hispanic males, ranging in ages 50 through 54. Overnight, police searched the home where the women were being held, but the officers will not release much information about what they are finding, but they do say the home will be an active crime scene for the next couple of days. Now, the victims, Amanda Berry, Gina De Jesus, and Michelle Knight, all disappeared appeared from the same area of Cleveland. Barry back in 2003 while leaving work. De Jesus disappeared in 2004 while walking home from school and investigators are not talking about the details surrounding Knight's disappearance. Here's the neighbor who saved the girls described what led to the rescue. Her screaming. I meet my McDonald's. I uh, come outside. I see this girl going nuts trying to get out of her house. So I go on the porch. I go on the porch and she says, help me get out. I've been, I'm, I've been in here a long time. Unbelievable. Now, Eric, doctors say the girls are in fair condition. Cleveland police will release more information on the case at a news conference that's scheduled for 9 o'clock this morning. Live in the Breaking News Center, I'm Thomas Forster, CBS 12 News this morning. Damage upwards of $100 million. The victims of the Texas fertilizer plant explosion have filed a lawsuit against that plant. And now investigators are saying they know exactly what caused that explosion. Thomas Forster joining us now with the very latest. Thomas. Susanna Officials have finally determined that ammonium nitrate is what exploded last month, killing 14 people and injuring hundreds more. But now the focus shifts to another big question. What touched off the ammonium nitrate? The state fire marshal's office said those findings, which were expected by Friday, will now be delayed. The spot of the blast where the chemical was stored is now a 90-foot wide crater. Over 70 homes were either damaged or destroyed. Also, federal emergency officials have now begun offering food and shelter to those West residents whose homes were lost in the explosion. Live in the studio, I'm Thomas Forster, CBS 12 News this morning. 49 and people in the huge retirement community of Kings Point in West Delray are being told to stay inside of their homes until 9 o'clock this morning. Officials are very concerned about all the flooding that community experienced overnight. CBS 12's Thomas Forster joining us live now to show us. Thomas, what's Susan, the latest? Well, Suzanne, they experienced some of the worst flooding in the area. This is what it looked like in that huge retirement community on the corner of Jog and Lytton in West Delray Beach. Flooded streets, cars stalled. In fact, the Palm Beach County Fire and Rescue says the floodwaters in Kings Point reached two feet in some places. It's an absolute disaster. <laughs> we couldn't believe it. I've never seen so much rain in my life. I'm living in Florida 40 years and I've never seen this kind of rain. I mean, I've been through a lot, but this is unreal. Unreal is right. Once again, people in Kings Point in West Delray are being told to stay in their homes until floodwaters can recede. That should be happening around 9 o'clock this morning. Luckily, no reports of any water getting into the condos there. Live in the studio, I'm Thomas Forster, CBS 12 News this morning.